Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update, and it is definitely a powder day today across the Intermountain West, and there's more snow to come. Look at radar, the west-northwest flow bringing in the next batch. Tetons got nailed overnight with snow accumulation. You have more on the way. Uh, you can see the flow headed towards the Wasatch, and eventually all this will rotate into Colorado um, as well. All right, let me just show you what it looks like out there this morning. So Jackson Hall reporting 15 inches at the summit in the last 24 hours, 8 mid-mountain. That's over 2 feet in the last 48 hours. You're on the cusp now of 300 inches, and you can see it in the, uh, the discussion here this morning. Kaboom! 15 inches plastering the top of the mountain at Rendezvous. So it's going to be an, an outstanding day at uh, Jackson Hole, and I've got additional probably 4 to 5 inches there at Jackson Hole today. Um, to fall. Let's go to a place we don't usually go to. So this is Powder Mountain, Utah. They've had about two feet of snow in the last 48 to 72 hours, and you can see some additional snow there overnight. And it will continue to snow all day today across the Wasatch. So we're in really good shape. Let me take you to my bullet points this morning and show you what I'm, uh, what I'm seeing here. So it is a powder day. Wasatch can expect another four to six inches today, and then another four to six inches on 218 on Sunday. Tetons, four to five inches today. A lot of that will fall in the first half of today. And then three to five inches coming on 218 on Sunday. Colorado, two to eight inches, mainly central and northern mountains, especially up in northwest Colorado. Steamboat, Buffalo Pass, Cameron Pass, uh, Mount Zirkle, those areas will, will probably get the higher end of that. And then another one to two inches comes in on 218. In the northeast, you've got light snow on 217 and light snow on 218. All right, let me take you back over and show you water vapor satellite imagery this morning. All right, here's the situation. So the big trough of low pressure is back here. What that's doing is it's sending ripples of energy in, and that's what we're seeing happen. These waves of energy will move into the interior and then slide down through the Intermountain West. So that's what we're seeing with the next one approaching and that'll be a key part. There's also an area of low pressure behind this. Now, both of these are going to move and take their sweet time. They move very slow with this subtropical jet stream blowing in here, and that's one of the guiding mechanisms, but that will bring all of that in over the next three or four days. It will slide into California, sending waves of moisture into the interior. Let me just show it to you. Here's the forecast jet stream by end of day today. Here we are, 217. You can see the big dip in the jet, the trough sliding towards the west coast, 218. 219, here it comes. 220, now it makes its move into the interior right there. 220, 221, and then that would move through. Things would quiet down a little bit, but that's probably not the end of the snow generation. There's another dip in the jet right there, 224, 225, that moves into the interior. So that would probably bring some snow back. Putting moisture on it, that's the current state of affairs by this afternoon at 530. That's the frontal boundary, the wave of energy, snow through the Tetons, Wasatch sinking down through Colorado, and that's going to produce some upslope for the Front Range. So we're going to see snow in Denver uh, this afternoon tonight till about midnight, uh, snow down to 5280, probably 1 to 3 inches. More up on the Continental Divide, more to Summit County and I-70 and north. All right, so there's 217, the whole, whole thing slides away. Next storm system sends energy in, 218, wave of snow. Here comes the main storm system approaching California, sending waves of moisture in, but it makes its move there on 220, 221, and 222, sliding through the four corners, Colorado, Utah, and then by 223, things really calm down. But again, that's not the end. Here comes the next area of low pressure, starts to spread moisture into the interior on 225, and we're back into it. Okay, let's talk a bit about snow. So we'll do this by time period. Um, today and tomorrow, next 48 hours, you can see the totals, and most of this falls today. So in the Wasatch, four to six. Four to six up there in um, the Tetons. In Colorado, you've got two to eight roughly coming. Most of that's I-70 in north. All right, let's go to the next period. Here's 218 through 220. Pretty big snow in the Sierra. A couple of feet over Mammoth, a couple of feet in Shasta. Um, another seven to eight in the Wasatch. Now there's seven to eight up in the Tetons, and one to three in Colorado, a little bit more in the northern uh, aspects of the state. Four to five, Sun Valley and Brundage. Next time frame is 221 to 223. Um, 
you'll have that final storm system moving through Utah and Colorado, so that's where we're going to see most of the snow. One to four inches will probably do it. And then um, it's a little quieter on 223, and then the next snow would start to move in on 225. So let's look at that time period. Here we are, 224, 225, potentially four to six for the Wasatch, two to three in Colorado, um, and a little bit up there in Wyoming and Idaho. Okay, let's, here's a grand total map. So all of today through 225, this is how much total snow we have left to accumulate as I see it in the Wasatch. Potentially a couple of feet, one to two feet. Some today, some on 218, and some beyond that as well. But obviously the bullseye is over a little in Big Cottonwood Canyons. Let's go to the northeast. So some light snow 217, some light snow 218, but most of the accumulation is across the northern tier, northern New York State, northern Vermont, northern New Hampshire, and northern Maine. Otherwise, it's very light accumulations as you go south of there. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for this morning mountain weather update. Um, enjoy the new snow. Big powder day today, probably tomorrow, and probably the day after. Take care, guys.